Stephen here from Vanguard Tactics and we are here at the UK Games Expo and of course I've got my friend the Terminator. So yeah, this is going to be an epic weekend. I've already done Kill Team Live, which is one of Games Workshop's kind of laser tag. It is awesome. So I've just done that, a little bit sweaty. And I did that with an epic crew such as Mini War Gaming Dave, the Warhammer Girl Rachel, and also Kerry. So we've had an awesome time so far. Um, and for me, UK Games Expo, I came here last year and it was just a great opportunity to speak to like-minded people that just love tabletop gaming. And if you've listened or heard any part of my Comic-Con talk, you know that Gaming and any type of tabletop gaming means a huge amount to me. And for me, this is literally the best place because for me, it's everything that I absolutely love about gaming. And, you know, we could look around here. There are so many different people enjoying different aspects of tabletop gaming. Tabletop gaming, as I've said in my talk at Comic-Con, means so much to me. And it really has been the kind of safe place for me. Um, when I look back and I think about you know, how I was at school and how I got on there and I wasn't really accepted by anyone and it was actually a tabletop gaming club I used to go to every Sunday and I've just bumped into my friends Adam and Lee. You didn't know this but actually I really appreciate your friendship. I really appreciated your friendship and it actually meant a huge amount to me and it was one of the things that got me through school. It really helped me get through that really difficult stage in my life but it then led me to really aspire to be more and it was kind of having this influence of superhero characters like space marines and you know captain america and superman and it kind of really subconsciously i think really helped me to become the person i am and for a long long time i kind of suppressed my the game i, I really suppressed my feelings my emotions i suppressed who i was because i was so scared of being judged for being a nerd or a geek and here I don't need to worry and you know a while ago I just decided that hey you know if I affirm me and really put myself out there for absolutely everything that I love then I'm gonna find people that love the same thing there's no point whatsoever trying to hide yourself from who or what you want to be and really that was kind of my the essence of my talk at comic-con and I kind of went through all the stages of my life from being bullied as a child to growing up as an adolescent, how I got through another really difficult time at school, and then always having, no matter what it was, whether you know, I had a really difficult situation in my business, where I lost a huge amount of money, suffered anxiety, but it was always gaming that was, for me, my safe place. And yeah, for me, it's just amazing to be here, surrounded by so many people enjoying exactly the same thing. And although I love Warhammer, I love all tabletop games and that passion will never leave me and it's something that I want to inspire in so many people and it's just this place in particular we all have this common ground of that we love playing games it's time to put your phone away potentially you know leave technology to one side and just really enjoy human connection enjoying the laughs and the perils and the shedding the tears and you know just so much great things happen when you play games together. What I've been learning for the last five years about these heroes of mine, that they never ever once cowered and they always managed to face their demons and their biggest fears. And I look back and I think, I've got a huge amount of respect for my younger self and never just giving in to these bullies. It's just me and one other person stood in front of me and we're gonna talk, we're gonna chat, we're gonna have this connection that we're gonna share the battles in the immersion that's gonna happen in this game. And for me, it was a safe place. Okay, I'm not happy about this. Jealous. Jealous doesn't even describe the feeling I had Just when I look. saw Mini Wargaming Day. You do, do you? Yeah, you're, you're, but this flesh suit isn't good enough with the muscle. You As a corn berserker, Dave has a suit. I don't have a suit. You are an epic hero. And only then does it happen. He has outdone me. And uh, that outfit is incredible. So next time, me and Dave are at a convention, 
I will have a suit. I'll have a better suit than Dave. And for constant eternity, we will battle to see who has the best suit. Game on. Jealous, envy, all of those emotions I was feeling because he looked absolutely awesome. We just played Warhammer. We'd just been shown Warhammer 10th edition. That was awesome to be able to share that with Rachel and Spen and obviously Dave with his Khan the Betrayer outfit. But um, that was brilliant just to, again, see other people enjoying this game that I love so much. So that was brilliant. We've done already the Kill Team Live this morning. I think they're trying to get us to do some Kill Team Live again. Seven hits, look. Nine kills. So many kills. One, finally. I know, kill to death ratio. <laughs> Obviously, because my team was so good, they need the grand strategist to win again, obviously. I'm sure that's what it is. Just say yes to playing games. You know, if anybody asks you, hey, do you want to play a game? Just say yes. It's too easy, I think, now to, in the day and age that we live in, to say, oh, no, I'm busy, I've got something else to do. Yet, we waste so much time procrastinating on social media and just consuming content. What we're not really doing is building fantastic connections and this is, can be a great way to do that so yeah gaming has meant a huge amount to me and I really hope it will also have the same impact on you as well if you fully embrace it okay so now I'm not normally a Necron fan okay but that is epic I actually think in that costume I could defeat Khan the Betrayer so we need to figure out some way how I need to get inside that suit and then go and uh, destroy Dave. Yeah. We need to make this happen. So that's it. And what an experience it's been. UK Games Expo, you have been absolutely awesome. Just as Comic-Con was, Warhammer Fair Salute, all the other shows that I've done this year, and not to mention, obviously, the Las Vegas Open, which will always have a massive, massive kind of, I suppose, like, home for me. The Las Vegas Open does feel like home, obviously with Frontline Gaming, but it has been awesome. It really has. It's been an incredible show. But what I think has really come to be so apparent is the friendships that you see here, the communities, the connections, and really that true essence of what we kind of want from a board gaming convention where you can just come here, leave your phone to one side and play some tabletop games. Whether it's a game you want to learn for the first time from somebody that's you know, manufactured the game themselves and they really want to show it off here, or to maybe some of the massive companies like Games Workshop that have got an established game already and you can try the new edition of the game. So for me, this has been absolutely incredible. And yeah, it just kind of reconfirms that. I think I've been smiling all day. Um, <laughs> I've had so much fun with everyone else, especially Dave, even if he is dressed up in a suit and I don't have one. But saying that, it's been awesome. So um, yeah, come and try out Tabletop Games. It's amazing. And I know for a fact it's going to improve your quality of life just as it has improved mine.